Huh? These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to get a bullet in my teeth. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? AK? Oh, don't fight too much. This is incredible. And fire. Oli kolmis sormis mai, oli reikä rauta brown. Ja tapahtuma paikana oli Jackson Willie Town. Ja tää on myyty eteenpäin. Okei, myön, myönsi sentään tehneensä se. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but <laughs> not in this, logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine, but... Well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. Mm. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderbilt, uh, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know <laughs> if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only Appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else you came okay, so for me risk life and limb in this den of low lives and murderers so that they might live and love <sighs> ain't that fine <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to kill all these folk dutch just you in that case it'd be my honor to join you Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here 
and quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house, hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. Mm -hmm. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Mm hmm. Follow me. I know the way. gonna be all right John. we should be going for Jack we, will. Well, we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army we ain't no use to Jack in jail Len, Len, I, don't don't get get I don't even know what to think no more just gotta keep our cool be smart about this smart are you joking we made too much noise once again we drew him right to us. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they Boy, thought there was up. money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run, but we'll be okay. We'll get through it. Yeah, <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. But it ain't right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. Mm. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. So cool. That poor kid. We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So, you were saying? I could just leave again, and no one would ever know. But some wolves thought otherwise. Look, you're here now. In this spot we're going to, it's close to San Denis. Soon as we get the others safe, we'll find this Bronte and get Jack back. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. Mm -hmm. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. Sooner we get this done, the better. Kunnon sotilasvarustus kaiken lisäksi. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure enough. Ammuttiin ainakin tyhjäksi. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Oh shit! It's them again! Boys! Still some here! I 
I can see that. You think there's more of them? I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. I'm coming for you! You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. You fools should have left when you had the chance! Päätöntä menoa. I knew you'd come. Soon enough. You are some of the coward. Like you. The bounty hunters. The freedmen. The carpet beggars. The army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Hello, Valtamatti. I'm Terve. Terve. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. <laughs> Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. the bodies you go meet up with the caravan guide them in all right see you soon i hope so i can walk you to see what i'm up
heittää ulos tästä. Täytyy kantaa semikunnioittavasti. Mr. Pearson, would you too kindly work would you your magic? Kindly. Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. Santa Orleans, right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll Sorry, need more Dennis. money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Mm. Same money. Big cities. <laughs> America. Always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4 Saint Denis. The New York Lands. Muistuttaa amerikkalaisia kaupunkeja nää. Tää onkin iso paikka. How do you do, sir?
Oho, poliiseja. Hello there. Howdy, fellers. Hello, mister. Well, you're not here to turn yourself in, so I conclude you're a bounty hunter. May I direct you to the poster on the wall there? Sata se. Lince Opford. Limo and Raider. You going after Lindsay Waffles? I might be. I might just want to hang his poster up on my wall. Yeah, they're a bad lot. The Lamont Raiders. Oh. Stupid fellas won't leave good enough alone. One of these days, the government's gonna get sick of private militia. Let's just be done. Oh, lady on the. Limo and Raiders, same kind of sound. Yeah, hey, can't you not get that one? Covered in worse, uh. friend. Uh. Okay. It just had to be me. Come on, move it. Hey, are you well? Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Uh. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. Bonjour, monsieur. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Hey there! Looking for some entertainment? Take it for one, please. The theater of Rallior awaits you behind those doors. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Yep, yep. I am your host, Aldridge T. Abington. Thank you. Yes, Aldridge T. Abington. Few men have had a career more crowded oh, with incident and various intercourse with the world <laughs> than I. During a stand up for me, God, I'm this and foreign lands, I have procured a show so fantastical. There exists nothing like it anywhere in an effort to bring this entertainment to even the poorest dreamer of dreams. I have determined the ticket price should be very low and the show held without a profit 
to me it's true. For it is blessing enough to bring these gifted artists to you. I discovered this next act in a tiny village in Italy. Truly the most exotic of places in the world. He was just a ten-year-old boy. I raised him. I bathed him. I shaved him from head to toe. He is truly a wonder to behold. Presenting Benjamin Lazarus! and mystical prowess, my dear ladies and gentlemen. Now, it's unfortunate fact that in this mortal coil we are all born to suffer from all manner of maladies in daily life. Who here has not had a friend or loved one near death's door from coal gas fumes, typhoid fever, diphtheria, or the bite of a rabid animal? The greatest wealth is your health. All the gold in the world cannot purchase it, and yet it is the most delicate and tenuous of all life's gifts. And nothing knocks down death's door faster than this. <laughs> a man cannot outrun a bullet. Many fools have tried and failed in this endeavor, including the tonic salesman I caught bedding my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I joke. I joke. <laughs> I assure you, he has met his maker, and they are playing gin rummy among the molten lava of Hades. <laughs> I have traveled all around the world, this delighting young and old, with all manner of feats of amazement. But none are as dangerous as what I am prepared to attempt tonight. I will hand this Didi Packenbush revolver over to my assistant and stand at considerable distance across the stage. She will point the revolver at my head and pull the trigger using lightning quick reflexes taught to me by a tiny that? man I met in the distant orient. I will catch the bullet in my teeth. Yes, my teeth. To prove that these are indeed live rounds, if my sharpshooting assistant would be so kind as to shoot this bottle of Lally Cola off my head. This is insane. Yeah! Off my head. Oh, yeah, we go. Careful. Yeah. I could do without a bullet in the brain right now. Okay. Oh my god, you won. Oh my god. What's going on here? That bit always That's scares so me. <laughs> now, observe. As I, the great Benjamin Lazarus, will do what no man has ever done and cheat <laughs> death as if it were nothing. Oh, wow. huh. What is he doing? Let's do that again. Hmm? Hmm. Take it. You're pulling my leg. This is a bunch of dang balderdash. Ah. You stink. A skeptic. Hmm? Ah. And Benjamin Lazarus, I assure you, I am not participating in some hoax or carnival rules. Uh -huh. These bullets are 100% real. In fact, I challenge any member of the audience to come forward with their own firearm, and I will yet again display my uncanny skill to catch a bullet in my teeth. Alright, let's go. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will prove to you I am the greatest entertainer to ever live, and the only man who laughs at death. Now, ready? 
AK? Satisfaction. He yeah. certainly does me. <laughs> now, I discovered this next remarkable woman in a lost jungle, <laughs> deep in the wilds of Colombia, where they do not wear clothes. Ah, no, she that too, but I'm gonna get the fire. Yes, she does. And for those with the universal and not unworthy curiosity, yes, I can attest. She does emit fire from almost every orifice in her body. Yeah. <laughs> Presenting Antoinette San Servino. Palavaa huuli, kun on. Okei. Töön aika vaarallista, sinä voi polttaa itseensä aika pahasti. Kurkusta ei se. Pää syöpäriski on kanssa aika kova. Oh, 
Incredible. Bravo. Though I must warn you, support her at your peril. Rain, I can't offer refunds for early departure. No, this is all be echo. Easy to see ya. Cornwall City Rail. Se iso herra on täältä. Saattaa täällä olla. Tässä on melkoinen niinku yritysmagnaatti. Esti. Raiders fought tooth and nail for this territory. And here's you just strolling through. I ain't here to cause trouble. Round here's a dozen townsfolk offer to bury you just to keep my hands clean. Make yourself scarce. Right. You're dead. Uh, 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 you missed your target, boys. Uh. Oh, next to the police bicycle. Officer, how are you? Hey. How's it going? Well, good luck to you. Goodbye now. Palmuja löytyy ja sitten on Finsi T. Harris kenraalia. Joku on vielä kirjoittanut siihen, että pelkuri. Trying to find a man named Bronte. You know the name? Bronte? No, don't think so. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Hey there. Have you ever heard of a man called Angelo Bronte? Hmm, no. But fancy names like that? Maybe try the Bastille Saloon. Opposite the park with the Quincy Harris statue. Okay. Thank you. Ah. Uh. Thank you. Yeah, that looks good. That's pretty decent. Oh, that's a bit better. Please, tell your friends about us. Take him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. Uh -huh. America's very own Gamora. 
This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here and on. Funny you should say that. Well, you know how it is. Okay, I'll do it again, Sophie. That's the state of Lamorne for you. America's dirty little French secret. Excuse me. We love it. Born and raised. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. Hello? I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I I seem to have some very impatient customers. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, talk to whiskey. Can I ask you a question? You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Uh huh. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Mr. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so sorry, you cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you, you be careful now. Oh, cool. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Kylvissä käyttää tää kaveri kans. What do you want? Mikähän se oli se kylvyn merkki? This place sure makes sore eyes. Täällä tietysti voi olla vähän ehkä. Hienommat mestat sitä varten. Hey, hey, you got a cigarette, Mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte, Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York. I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, Mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, Mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? 
No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. <laughs> Ei kyllä ole mitään yhtä hienoa Mit metsässä. Tää vähän oli heinähattu. Se ei oikein toimi niinku Kula metsästä pihalla Excuse me. You just start calling him Mickey. That ain't really the same thing. Facts. They make half of them up. talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> oh. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends You don't like no one, Mister. <laughs> Mr. Dutch, Dutch, no one. He's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got fifty men, Mister. 
Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. Keeping mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, Yoko. Now, get out of here. Okei, sen sai näinkin sitten sen tiedon näköjään.